Welcome back. We'll start with a set of next 25 questions for the IAS prelims 2017 GS paper 1. Now the first question here is the object of Butler committee of 1927 was now Butler committee came into force to inquire among the relationships between the paramount power and the Indian states. So uh, D is the correct option here which talks about improving the relationship between the government of India and the Indian states. So that was the main objective of the Butler committee. Now the next question talks about uh, domestic content requirement. Now domestic content requirement came, the phrase came into uh, news due to the use of indigenously made uh, components for solar equipment for the solar power production in India. So developing solar power production in India with the indigenous components was the basic idea. So A is the correct choice here. Even if you know that it, it is related something with the solar energy, you can directly rule out the other choices and hence your correct choice would be A. Now next is which of the following statements is in is correct okay so now both the statements that are given us are incorrect the international panel on fissile materials is an independent body uh, the co-chairmans are one of the professors from princeton university and another from jawala Nehru university india then again nuclear security summits is not held under ages of uh, uh, united states uh, united nations un rather un is one of its members so you have one and two both are incorrect so neither one nor two would be the correct answer here now next question talks about who among the following can join national pension system nps scheme now this is again a very tricky question uh, the residents of india can join nps however since it's only it's incorrect because nris are also eligible to join the nps system first of all Secondly, the pension age has been increased, uh, the NPS, under NPS, the age has been increased up to 60 years. So, 2 also becomes incorrect. So, many of the students got confused here. So, make sure uh, you read the choices very, very carefully. And therefore, C is the correct answer which, say, which says all state government employees after joining the service, uh, after the date of notification, uh, would get be or would be entitled for NPS. The next is, with reference to Tista river which of the following is correct. Now Tista is one of the major rivers that has been in news recently. Uh, this was a question last year as well and therefore uh, you have high probability for uh, questions related to interlinking. Recently there was the Narda height that has been the dam height that has been increased. So Narda and Tista are two important questions that could be part of your mains examination. Now Rangit river originates in Sikkim and is one of the tributaries of Tista that is correct. Now Tista follows or forms a boundary between West Bengal and Sikkim and finally merges into Brahmaputra. So one is incorrect it's not the same as Brahmaputra it merges with the Brahmaputra. So one is incorrect three is incorrect you have two as the correct answer two. So two only would be the correct choice here so B would be the answer. Now the next question is uh, Zika virus is transmitted by the same mosquito that transmits dengue, yellow fever and chikungunya and sexual transmission is also possible. So both of these statements are correct. So both 1 and 2 would be the correct answer here. So C would be the correct choice. Now next question, this is again very very important. The mark, uh, standard mark of BIS that is Bureau of Indian Standards makes it mandatory for the uh, autom automotive tires and tubes for two wheelers, three wheelers as well as four wheelers. Now this is correct. So BIS certification is required for all of these. However, Eggmark is a quality certification mark given by India not by the Food, Orga Food and Agriculture Organization which is a kind of uh, part of world organization. So this is incorrect. Eggmark is a uh, Indian uh, certification. So one is correct, two is incorrect. So one only would be the correct choice. So answer would be A. Now next question talks about the NAM scheme. We have already covered it in the policy schemes in the expected question. So again a question from there. So national agriculture marketing, it's a kind of pan India electronic trading portal for agriculture commodities. That's correct. And it provides the farmers the access to nationwide market 
uh, where they can ha they can uh, kind of bargain on the price and uh, work around the quality so you have both one and two would be the correct choices here now next question national intellectual property right policy is under the D, uh, DIPP that's Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion which is the main body which regulates the in uh, intellectual property rights and it also reiterates the developments or the commitments to the Doha development and the TRIPS agreement. So both of these are correct. So both 1 and 2 would be the correct answer. So answer would be C. Now next question. According to Wildlife Protection Act which of the animals cannot be hunted by a person except under the same provisions provided by law. Now this is again one of the questions from the expected class uh, on environment and biodiversity that we have covered up. Uh, we in the last set of 25 questions we have talked about the six schedules under the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. Now this whatever is written here forms a part of schedule 1 which says the animals cannot be hunted except under the provisions of law. So what we are trying to understand here, the, here is all those animals which are protected under schedule 1. So you have Ghadiyal, Indian Wildlands and Wild Buffalo. All three of these are protected under uh, the schedule 1 of the Wildlife Act 1972. So all these three would be correct and Ghadiyal has also been uh, mentioned as a critically endangered species under the uh, IUCN Red List. So the next question here is which of the following is true of the fundamental duties of Indian citizen? So neither of these statement is true. Uh, fundamental duties are moral obligations and they are not enforceable by law similar to what uh, in contrast to what DPSPs are or the directive principles of state policies are. So both of these are incorrect options. So D would be the correct choice here. Next question, this is again a very very confusing question. Radha Khan Dev were the, was the founding president of British Indian Association, that's correct. So Rainnath Banerjee was the founder of Indian Association, that's also correct. However, Gazulu Lakshmi Narayan Suchetti was the founder of the, Ameri uh, sorry, the Madras Native Association. However, Madras Maharaja, uh, sorry, Mahajan Sabha was founded or established by Ramaswamy Murlidhar and P. Anand Chedalu. So, this choice or this match is incorrect. So, 1 and 3 are the correct matches. So, B would be the correct answer here. Now, the next question talks about which of the following objectives is not embodied in the preamble of India? Now preamble, uh, there are two or three questions on preamble this time. So preamble, you must be very thorough with. So when you read the preamble, it clearly says liberty of thought, expression, belief, faith and worship. So you have liberty for these five things. So in this, you do not have the mention for economic liberty under preamble. So B would be the only option that would be uh, the, uh, that would form the answer here. Now next question, quality control of India was jointly established by government of India and the Indian in industries, that's correct and its chairman is appointed by the president on recommendation of the industry to the government. So that's also correct. So both of these statements are correct and this is a kind of experiment uh, by the government of India to sh uh, start a partnership to maintain more quality standards. Now next is. What was the purpose of setting up of small finance banks in India? Now small finance banks first of all was a basic idea to uh, for financial inclusion. Now it talked about supplying credit to small businesses, micro units, small and marginal farmers. So these were the main focus areas. So one and two are the correct choices here. It has nothing to do with young entrepreneurs. So one and two would be the answer. So A would be the correct choice here. Now next question. Again a very tricky question, emerging urban forms, policy responses and governance structure was one of the meetings of uh, the, uh, the housing and development, uh, housing and urban development summit. However, this was the sixth summit which was held in New Delhi in India in 2016. So this is incorrect and India does not ho host all of the annual ministerial conferences of these. So this is again incorrect. So both 1 and 2 are incorrect. So D would be the correct choice here. Now, now next is democracy is superior virtue. Now this was a concept propounded by Mill who said the superior virtue lies in the fact that the intelligence and the character of ordinary men and women. So you have A as the correct option here. 
Now the next question is which of the following is the most likely consequence of implementing unified payment interface? Now under unified payment interface, payment could be directly made through smartphone. So you do not need to have kind of any amount that exists into your wallet. So what would be the consequence? The consequence would be the mobile wallets would no more be necessary for online payments because it would be a kind of direct transfer to the bank account where you do not require even a kind of IFSC code or bank account number. So you have A as the correct answer here. Now next question, here are some of the terms. Now these, are the, these terms are used to understand the uh, observe or understand universe. Event horizon and singularity are related with black holes. Event horizon is the disk formation and singularity is the center of the black hole. Then you have a string theory and standard model in physics which are more likely similar to the quantum mechanics. So all of these are useful to understand the universe. So A is the correct answer. Now genome sequencing, we have already covered this in the expected questions on science and technology. So for details you can refer that. Now genome sequencing tries to identify the genetic marker and uh, so what would be the benefits? It would help you determine the disease resistant varieties, it would help in reducing the time for new crop to come out and it would decipher the host pathogen relationship in the crop. So all of these three could be done through genome sequencing. So 1, 2 and 3 are the correct choices. So D would be the answer here. Now next question, what is the advantage of parliamentary form of government? Now in contrast to the presidential form of government, under parliamentary form of government, the executive remains responsible to legislature. However, this is not the case with the presidential form of government. So this is among the basic differences between the presidential and the parliamentary form of government that is directly asked. So most of the questions from quality section were very very direct. So if you know the facts, you can definitely answer those. So C is the correct choice here. Now again the next question, which of the following is correct relationship between rights and duties? So rights and duties go hand in hand. So if you have the uh, rights, uh, duties, you are bound, abounded by the rights itself. So rights are correlative of the duties. So one would be the, A would be the correct choice here. A kind of very direct question. Again a very direct question from the constitution. The mind of the makers of the constitution is reflected in the preamble of India which forms the basic uh, uh, kind of framework for the constitution. So A would be the correct answer. Now this is a kind of tricky question for most of the students. If you travel by road, what is the minimum number of states? So keep in mind the words here. First of all, it is asking about the minimum number of states. You can say I can go all the way twisted and tilted and reached. So minimum number of states and it includes the origin and destination. So these were the two mistakes that most of the students committed. Now Kotiam in Kerala and Kohima in Nagaland. So you have the map of India here. So if you start from here, you have Kerala, you move on to Tamil Nadu. So this is the first state, second state, Andhra Pradesh third. Then you have Odisha fourth, West Bengal fifth, Assam sixth and Nagaland seventh. So this way you can reach Kohima from Kotiam, uh, Kotayam with minimum number of uh, states that is covered. So the correct answer here would be 7. Now the next question, the last question for this set, the parliament of India exercises control over the functions of council of ministers through all the three that is the adjournment motion, question R and supplementary questions. So question R is a session, it is a kind of one hour session that is conducted. And after the question hour, you have adjournment motion where topics of urgent, uh, uh, urgent requirements are discussed and supplementary questions are asked based on the oral questions or the start questions that are there. So all these three exercise the control over the functions of council of ministers. So you have 1, 2 and 3 as the correct answer. With this we covered the set of next 25 questions. We will be covering the final set in the next video. Stay tuned for more updates. Have a good day ahead.